the year was 2020 at a location that's undisclosed I would like to welcome you guys to deer camp Good morning. Welcome to opening day for deer. Uh, it is 5.30 a.m. Uh, still pretty cold. Um, just like all nights, well, beginning nights that I have when I am out hunting the first night, I usually don't sleep. I'm just always super excited, um, super excited, pumped up, um, can't wait. Um, throughout the night, um, it did sound like I heard a few bugles, which was pretty cool. Um, yeah, it was just one of them nights again, you know. Full of energy and just excited, ready to go. We have some steak, some potatoes, some mushrooms, some kick ass seasoning. I'm gonna throw in some eggs, uh, a little bit of butter, and then we are going to eat. And drive out to a spot and yeah, who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen today? I don't know. Do you know? Who knows? All right guys, so day one is in the books. Um, saw a bunch of does. Uh, that was it. This is day two. Um, went out for the morning, I saw a little forky. Um, and a doe, but that's pretty much it. So, while I'm taking a break during the day, um, I've already eaten. Um, we're just gonna do a little relaxing and, you know, and do a little bit of fishing, see what happens. All right. So, I was when I was fishing, I ended up I left that spot and I was getting ready to go to another spot when I saw these four wheelers um, down in that area. They kicked up this. I really couldn't even tell if it was a doe or a buck, but um, I immediately pulled over and um, grabbed my rifle and jumped back in. I just wanted to see if I could maybe jump in on it. So it kind of gave me a little, a little motivation for the day to uh, come up to the spot I saw this little forky at today. Um, so yeah, I'm up here at the off the road right now. I'm kind of driving up. It's about four miles in. Um, there's been a lot of people up in this area. So, for me, that means two things. One, it's a good area for buck. Or two, they're just being so pressured, I might as well find a spot that I usually don't go to. 
but nonetheless um, kicking it in high gear I'm gonna get out to a spot and I'm gonna get out and do some glassing um, nice nice cliffs and stuff up here so nice vantage points where I can get in some decent glassing um, on the hillsides and stuff so that's uh, where we're at now and you know fingers crossed we can we can jump in on something today so that'd be pretty nice looks like there's been quite a few people that have just cleared out so that's always that's always nice People are clearing out so it is also a um, elk general season so we could be getting a lot from them as well that opened up last Saturday so yeah just kind of hanging out and we're gonna see what we can do and maybe be done for the day so not be done. I don't know. I'm confused because I'm seeing this guy in his truck come on down. Saw him earlier. Not the friendliest guy. Um, I saw him once already this morning. He's one of them serious guys. So. Yeah, we're going to get back to it and I'm going to have some fun, do some hiking and see some cool landscapes and we'll see you guys back in a flash. Out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, we're what, a mile and a half in, right? Yeah, from any road. Okay. Trail we're next to a river, that's it. We're not next to, there's no access roads, nothing. There's not even trails. <laughs> but what I'm about to show you guys just might blow your mind. It blew our mind. It's definitely odd. So check this out. Look at that. Weird, right? Why is it this focus? It looks like we built Yeah, it's literally. Wood, oil can, looks like a little blind. Um, Ella, Jake, and Tam. Those are the names. I mean, crop some. There is some good matching. Maybe they're out doing some survival skills. I don't know. I do know it's just weird. I don't know. Maybe they came out and made a camp. But there's like no signs of 
There's no access roads. No nothing. I right, will show you this. We're down. Literally down by the stream. Right there. We've seen all kinds of fresh sign of deer, so I think we'll just keep going along in this and see if we can muster anything out. Who knows? I'm hoping she's the lucky charm. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, I'm sitting at home. Uh, we came back yesterday. Not much really happened. Um, just saw the one forky. Um, it did start to snow yesterday, so we did end up leaving. Uh, and then a huge, huge rookie mistake on my part. Yesterday I thought was the the eleventh. Um, or the end of my tag and I should have known better and it wasn't um, actually or excuse me I thought Saturday was the last day of my tag but it was actually yesterday so we ended up we packed and we came home uh, pretty much the day too soon um, but the way things were going it was just it was more of a a nature hike than anything but it was a good learning experience had a lot of fun it was the first time Morgan went out with me we had a really good time um, so yeah it's not always about you know getting that thing down whether it's a, a big buck or an elk or or a bear or whatever it is that you hunt um, it's about the memories and this trip ended up just being about that um, me and Morgan got to bond just her and I going out on hikes and looking and before the end of the hunt you could see her position on hunting was totally different. She was getting upset that we couldn't find anything and getting you know a little discouraged and frustrated which was it was kind of funny to see but it, it was nice to see as well so but yeah that's it we still have archery um, my extended and who knows i might even go do the bear hunt down south um it just depends on how life goes so that's where we're at thank you guys for watching and again if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe and uh if you like these videos make sure that you tell your friends share them with them as well i know i don't always get things down on the ground and you guys don't see that kill but you get to see lots of learning experiences. I mean, if you will, you can learn from my mistakes, <laughs> if anything. And then, um, yeah, share it with them. This is what, you know, they could potentially be looking forward to. Because not every hunt is, there's not a kill involved. So just take that for however you want it. And uh, we will be seeing you guys soon. All right, have a good night.